just choose the one that you really feel you can totally be yourself with, you know? The one that you feel like you can totally let your guard down with. You can be attractive and unattractive around them and they won't judge you for it. And they'll totally accept you, you know? So, I mean, if you're looking for someone that has the best prospect of being the best boyfriend for you, more long-term, stuff like that, then that's the sort of, that's the boy you should look at and choose, okay? If you're looking for more short-term fun, just hooking up, having a good time, then pick the guy that excites you the most, uh, that you're most attracted to, etc. You know, but if you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, you know, a little bit more deep, intimate, then you want to get that person who really looks at you and loves everything about you without caring, you know, essentially without caring about seeing your back points, without caring about seeing your shortcomings, stuff about you that's not so great, you know, the accepting of that. So you will know which one of the two would be that way. So that's the one you want to choose if you're looking for something more long term. Chemistry, obviously, is also very important. Someone who can be your friend, you know, someone that you can actually have conversations with be a true friend as well as a lover, all right?